This week, we're back in Bukit Timah District 10. And if you're looking for a free hole, two-story plus attic corner semi-D for just under 7.5 million, I think this could be for you. Everyone, this is Lily Avenue. Welcome guys, we're in the front yard right now. So before we go in, let me give you some stats. We're sitting on 3,200 square feet of freehold land and our developers actually built it up to 3,200 square feet and it comes with four bedrooms and four ensuite bathrooms. Where we are right now is actually the front porch with a beautiful nice zen garden over here. You've got this green patch going all the way and then let me just show you the front porch over here. So this is the front gate with the mechanized gates that actually open up. You've also got a manual gate that opens up if you're just gonna go out and grab something real quick. So the cars can come in smoothly because it's very wide and just look at the driveway, it's long and you can even park two continental cars over here. And you've got carpentry over here for your shoes and this is your formal front door. Let me show you inside. Wow. Soon as you come through the front door, you'll find that it's wide and grand. So this is really a huge, huge living space that opens up. So the developers initially built this whole row for own stay for all the directors. So you can really tell that they've spent no expense when they put in the design towards the architecture and even the quality of the finishing. All the materials are top notch. So what they really wanted to do for the concept was this. If you'll notice, all the sliding glass doors over here are actually meant for to open up the space to give a lot of natural light and ventilation. So again, this is the north-south facing, so a natural breeze can actually come through. Let me show you. So imagine if you're hosting, your guests can easily mingle around and flow through the house. So this rectangular huge space is like the grand hall. So typically what you could use this for is your living room. So you could have your sofa couches over here, TV could go over there, you could do a little bit of carpentry and really spruce up the place. But just check out this window over here. So the reason the developers actually put this in was they wanted to create an option for a ground floor granny's room. So this whole space could really be the real entrance. If you seal up that door over there and you just close up this space, you'll notice to the back there's actually a powder room. So you can actually create a ground floor room fully equipped. Now let me show you over here. The quality that the developers actually put in is really something to admire because if you look at the wood, this is actually Canadian oak which is very very expensive. They've flown in Italian marbles. These are 600 by 600 genuine tiles. Very very beautiful and where I'm standing right now is the formal dining space. So check it out. You have a huge rectangular formal dining space. Again, glass panels, these are windows, these are sliding doors that open up so you can fit a huge six-seater, eight-seater for hosting, you can accommodate the space. So what we have over here is actually the formal kitchen. So if you, you're noticing this space over here, this is actually known as the pass and you'll see a lot of these typically in European houses. So what this is usually for is it blocks out all the fumes but the cooking can actually be served onto this area and these are actually enclosable sliding doors uh, that our owners have built in. So this kitchen is actually recently retrofitted but what you can use this for is actually a breakfast countertop. So just pull up bar stools over here and you're ready to go. Let me show you inside the kitchen. Fully retrofitted, you can find that there's a little touch of modern design. All the carpentry are modern, they put in this uh, every stone hood and then the gas hob, four burners over here. You've got the oven over there, a huge fridge space and then to the back, we actually have the backyard. Let me show you. So, the corner terraces actually have a lot of space even around the compound, right? So to the back, this is the backyard, laundry area, washing area and you even have space for a full-on maid's room and a maid's bathroom over here and there's a retractable awning to shade you from the rain, protect your laundry when you're drying them. Now let's go up. 
So before we head up, let me share with you who this place is likely for. So if you're looking for space in an evergreen neighborhood that's close by to all the good schools and is centrally placed, this could be for you. So this is actually very well maintained for a place that was built up in 1997. You can move in, you can just do light renovations to your taste and that will work. Let's head up to the second floor. So up on this level, we have three unique rooms, but let me show you the master bedroom over here first. So if you step through, you'll find that this master has massive space, right? If you just look over here, what I'll do is I'll set in a big king size bed and still have space for a dresser or for a TV over there. So what our developers actually did was put in windows over here and this is the east facing so it lets in a lot of morning natural light and I'm a big fan of light so they also put in the windows over here and you've got the north facing so if you open these windows up you get the natural breeze coming through so then you've got enough space for a whole row of carpentry over here and more check it out Coming into this private and closed uh, wardrobe space over here, you'll find that you've got an L carpentry again, and then the master ensuite bathroom. Fully fitted with marble tiles cladding the walls. You've got a strip of black marble over here, and then another shade over the countertop and traditional wood, and even a long bath to soak in all your fatigue after a hard day's work. Now let's check out the common bedrooms just right across the hallway. So each of them are of unique good size, but let's have a look at the one just to my right over here. Soon as you step through, you'll find that you've got all the wardrobe space built in over here. Then the room opens up into this huge square over here. You've got tons of natural light coming in through the windows. And if I were you, I'd place a huge king size or queen size bed over here and even have enough space for a TV console or a study just right across here. And it even comes fully complete with this ensuite bathroom and the long bath. Now let's check out the room over here. Just to my right over here is the other bedroom. So every layout is unique. This is a little bit more rectangular and you've got the carpentry all built in over here. So what I would use this for is my office or library. But if this were for your kid, the bed goes here. And then this is the side window, the east facing, morning light comes in, perfect for him. And then you've got the wardrobe space as well. So you can easily house your kid over here. And then ensuite bathroom, build in long bath that completes it. So now let me show you my favorite room of this whole home. So this space can actually be converted into a full-on private room because our owners build in this by four doors that have this woody texture that enclose the space fully. Voila. So you have this pocket space over here with windows over here that let in natural light and ventilation. And you've got all this open space that can be converted into wardrobe space. And if I were you, this were an office, I convert this all into bookshelves, books will go here. Now let me show you the rest. The room then opens up into this square space over here. So you've got enough space to put in a whole bed. And if I were to use this as an office, just check it out. I would fit in a long table all along this side because you've got a window here for natural light and ventilation. Okay. And then if this were your kid's bedroom, queen size bed easily over here. Plus, you've got this curtain rails over here for you to put in privacy or if you want to, you can convert this into blinds that drop down. There's even a fully equipped bathroom over here for his use. Let's talk about the location. The closest main road is Bukit Timah Road. Then you're going onto 6th Avenue and then turning right onto Lemon Road and then onto Lotus and Lily. Then you arrive. So if you're thinking about groceries, just go across the cold storage at Good Tree House. You've got good schools like Hua Chong International, Nanyang Girls High School, National Junior College, Methodist Girls School, Hua Chong Institution, and Raffles Girls School, all within two kilometer radius. 
So if this feels like home, smash the like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'll be happy to show you the place. See you soon.